What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today I'm going to be discussing some things that have been happening at retail right now, specifically Target. It's it's mainly Target. I don't think you'll run into this issue any other store, but I know that, you know, the big chase right now is for the WWE Elite Series 71 Cassius Ono or Elite 72, whatever the series is. I know it's supposed to be Elite 71, but I, I don't know what they're calling it, but it's that collector's edition, you know, the store chase like we've seen before with Liv Morgan's so Sonya Deville, The Rock, we've seen it with Bob Backlund, we've seen it with Pat Patterson, those kinds of figures. Um, this is specifically for the Cassius Ono and the Page figure that are coming in Elite Series 71. You guys know what Elite Series 71 is. It is the most recent Elite Series that we have gotten featuring Nikki Bella, Adam Cole, Big Show, Jeff Hardy, John Cena, Drew McIntyre, and then of course your Target Store exclusives. Cassius Ono and Paige. So what this is, is basically, I've had a few people hit me up, I've had a few people comment down below on our videos, and they have said, you know, I haven't been able to get the figures, you know, I just got rejected, why can't I buy figures at Target? They told me I couldn't buy certain figures at Target. So basically what people are doing is they're going to Target, and they are picking up figures off the shelf. They're taking them to the front, and when they go to pay for them, they're not letting them get them because they aren't allowed to sell them, per se, at this particular moment, and that is what they're telling people, but this is the big issue, okay? So apparently, I got this news from uh, Prime Wrestling on Instagram. So basically, what it is is that the figures, the Elite 71 figures, are street-dated, which means they were received with, you know, a sheet of paper from Mattel or whoever their distributor is. And they basically said that they are not allowed to be stocked or sold until mid-November. So basically, they, you know, they send them figures and they have a little sheet of paper that says, don't put this on display until November. Well, they put the figures out on the shelves and basically they put it out on, you know, shelves early. And this is a mistake, obviously, but, uh, you know, the stores are pretty strict about this. So, you know, they, they put them out there, and basically the, the issue is that all elites are the same DCPI number, so no elites are ringing up right now. So, you know, every elite is the same exact DCPI number, or every elite that's in the store right now that's, you know, the, the most recent figures are all the similar DCPI number, you know, the number that you punch in, it's like the barcode, you know, you find them if they're in stock, um, you know, the, they can search their system to see if it's in. Well, if you take up any elite, let's just say I want, you know, a earlier series, say they don't even have, you know, Elite 71 in stock, maybe, you take that up to the front and you try to buy it and it will not work and so technically no stores are allowed to sell elite figures because they have all been marked street dated given that they're all the same DCPI number in the system. So while they're not the same figures, you know, Elite 71, Cassius Ono, whatever, if you bring up another figure, uh, it, you could be rejected at the register. And I've actually had a lot of people tell me that they've been rejected at the register trying to buy figures, and they've been told, you know, we can't sell this to you because, you know, it's street dated, whatever. And so basically, uh, you're kind of having a big issue right now at Target while buying figures. I don't think that everybody's been bitten by this. I know it's a lot of people, you know, some, some sort aren't strict but some people are trying to keep their jobs and they're not trying to get fired and they don't want to be living in a cardboard box so they don't want to you know end up selling a figure and get in trouble and all that good jazz but some stores you know some people don't care like i'm sure if you got in with somebody pretty high at the top or you know a, a manager of some sort and you just lied i know some people have told me they've lied to the people because they'll be like are these brand new and you know they'll just tell them no these been out for months like so i know some people have lied to the target employees i know that they've gotten away with it and gotten to purchase the figures but this is a very interesting development that uh i i, I tried to go to target yesterday you know apparently it if you check, you know, Pop Finder or BrickSeek or whatever the hell you're using, if you enter the DCPI number, which I'll have to go and look right now, uh, I, I don't have it on me at this moment. I'll go check it out right now. But if you put in the DCPI number and you have like an increase in eight in the in a case, there's eight in a case. So it comes with Elite 71, the full set, you know, Nikki Bella, John Cena, Adam Cole, Big Show, Drew McIntyre, and whoever the hell the lad, Jeff Hardy. It's those six figures, and then it comes with Cassius Ono and Paige. So when you do this, if you check Pop Finder with the DCPI number, then you will see an increase in 8. And if you see an increase in 8, apparently you're supposed to get the figures. Well, that's not completely true because I tried it actually yesterday. I checked my target and they only had two top talents, 2018 or 19 AJ Styles. I think it was 19, maybe 18. It was 18. It was the, the silver and blue one. Okay, the silver, blue, and black, the WrestleMania 34 attire. 
They only had those two figures. And then yesterday I checked it and they said they had 13 figures in stock. So I was like, oh, snap. I know I'm in Alabama, so I didn't get too excited because do I ever find good things? Not really. I know, like, the only reason you guys think I find good things is because I only post uh, when I get good things at a toy hunt. I don't post toy hunts all the time, so that shows you how often I find things. So maybe once, like, every two to three months, I'll find something solid to buy it and upload a toy hunt. But uh, basically, the the, T the DCPI number for Target is 87 zero six four three nine five so if you punch this number into pop finder it should pop up how many figures your store has in stock if you're on the west coast you probably have a good chance of finding it specifically california like if you're not in california you're probably not going to buy it you're not going to find them but uh i had that increase you know from like two elites to 13 so i said you know what brad they may have them so i went and checked it no it was elite series 69 and uh that that was the big deal there was like uh, six figures missing from the floor, and I didn't even want to ask because I'm sure it's just a duplicate of what was already on the floor. So I didn't even ask, and so I did not get you know anything. So that was going to be a video for you guys. I thought we were going to hit goal. I thought we were going to get the Cassius. Oh no! But of course I'm in Alabama, and we don't ever get things. I'm going to have to order it. I'm sure to even get it. And luckily I already have all of Elite Series 71 besides Cassius and Paige. So I'm going to be trying to lock those down. If you guys live in California, if anybody out there lives in California and you're an MDT fan, uh, hit me up if you find a Cassius Ono because I will definitely pay for it and get a good or a good tray whatever you want you guys want to do maybe we can work out something and we can get the Cassius Ono over here because I really do want to review that figure and take a look at it uh really like Cassius Ono a lot but anyways guys so that is a problem that has been happening at Target so if you go to Target and they basically tell you well Brad you're not buying this figure just fib to them or do do something man because you know that that's that's a mistake on their part and they're not going to understand it like even if you explained it I I'm sure they would not know what the hell you're talking about. But basically, again, the figures are street dated and they cannot, you know, they, they received a memo that said you're not allowed to stock or sell these figures until mid November. But they got them in early. Like, that's that's pretty early. If you're not putting them out till mid to late November, it's like, Jesus Christ, man, you got them a, a month early. It's like, what are we supposed to do here? But you put they put them out on the floor with the same DCPI number. You try to buy another figure. It doesn't work because it's the same number and they ring up the same. But again, if you you may be able to get around it, but I know that people have had problems, and I wanted to put this up to you guys just in case you've had a problem. I know a lot of people will probably be super confused if you go to Target and you just want to buy a figure, which I don't think makes any sense anyways. Like if I go to a store and they tell me you can't be sold this figure, it's like that's ridiculous. You're missing out on money. You're missing out on business right there. So I don't understand why anybody would ever tell you you can't buy this when it's directly right here. Like it'd be different if they just didn't have it or they had to special order it or something but usually stores you would think they would try to go above and beyond to take care of their people but i do understand when you know mattel or whoever the case i'm not saying they do this but apparently they got a memo from whoever that i would guess it would be mattel but they you know they they want to be you know honorable to them since you're doing business with them and you're distributing the figures for them you don't want to you know step on their toes and sell something you're not supposed to sell but you know a lot of people don't really care anyways but apparently they do because you, the people are getting rejected at the at the register but that is just something i wanted to cover here so if you guys get rejected again at target just kind of, you know, I, I don't really know what to tell you. Maybe say, you know, these figures have been out or try to plead your case. Try to tell them what happened and maybe somebody will understand. A lot of people probably won't care because, I mean, it's just WWE action figures. That's why I don't understand. Just sell the figure, man. You're missing out on money and you don't even have to charge, you know, more than you need to. You don't have to charge less than you need to. Just give me it what it is at retail. And let me get the hell out of here, bro. Let me get my figure and go home because it's not that big of a deal. But again, when you refer back to, you know, selling figures early and stuff like that, then I do understand it. But it is kind of ridiculous that that happened. I guess it's just a mistake. Between the, I mean, 2019 is all full of debacles at the store, guys. You, you remember at Walmart when they punched in the wrong code or whatever and people were getting elites for like $7. And then like they were all ringing up as like Dean Ambrose or something like that. Uh, it's just some crazy stuff that goes on with the WWE figure world. So I wouldn't even be shocked if it was underlying some WWE figure collector out there that works, you know, high up at Target or Walmart that's just messing with everybody and trying to help out the community at some points. But this isn't this isn't really helping out. But that Walmart thing was ridiculous. Everybody funding Elite Series 69, the Rock Walmart exclusive figure for like six, seven bucks, and people were just buying out the store. Never happened to me, unfortunately, but. Um, I would not be shocked, but uh, I just wanted to let you guys know this 
uh, this news right here. And just if you guys have experienced this, please let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to read your story. Have you been rejected at the register? Have you had any problems with Target? You know, trying to buy any figures, any of the new Elite 71. Uh, again, if you find a Cassie Sono, please let me know down in the comment section below. We can make a trade or a sale or whatever the hell the case is. I would love to make that down below. But please let me know if you've had any trouble at Target. And let me know what you think of this debacle. I mean, this is pretty ridiculous, but... Again, huge shout out to Prime Wrestling for the info for making this video possible. And uh, I appreciate you guys so very much for watching. Again, comment down below your stories of buying at Target. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.